And joining us now, pleased to have with us Dr. Steve Lerner, Senior Scientific and Business Advisor with Christian Hansen, joining us here today. And uh, Dr. Lerner, always great to catch up with you, sir. How are you? I'm very well, Jesse. Yes, always glad to be here. Well, I appreciate the time. We have uh, some interesting things to talk about today, you know, for our cattle producers out there and obviously any animal agriculture producer, you know, we're watching feed costs, grain prices have been soaring, feed costs are just getting, you know, maybe even out of hand, one would say. And, And that's why it's important to really think about getting the most out of our feed and helping out our animals. And that is a, that is where probiotics can come into play. I know. So let's talk a little bit about this. And, you know, as you look at the state of agriculture right now, Dr. Lerner and how those feed prices are rising, talk to me a little bit about some of the ways we can maximize the performance of what we're feeding to our animals. Certainly when feed prices are high, it becomes absolutely essential to focus on everything that you can do as a manager to improve efficiency of converting the nutrients in those feed sources into animal. And we have great evidence that probiotics, effective probiotics, are perfectly positioned to do exactly that. When probiotics work, they support the the digestion of those feedstuffs making more nutrients available. They support a healthy digestive tract that allows absorption of those nutrients. And that is the best measure of efficiency. The greater percentage of animals in your herd or lot or flow or flock on the swine and poultry side that are normal and healthy, the more likely you're gonna reap some economic advantage even when feed prices are staggeringly high. Well, I know, Dr. Lerner, those probiotics, they really, as you alluded to, they help support that animal's digestive health. And that is a key because uh, we were talking a little bit before we jumped on the air about some of the benefits of, of keeping certain things inside that animal. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Certainly. So when we consider uh, the available nutrients in the feed, and of course, we're talking about carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen being those that will help the animal build proteins and be the available energy sources. The more of those carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen molecules that they keep in their body to either produce muscle mass or fat or milk in an udder or a calf in the uterus, then the less of those materials are put back out into the environment as respiratory exhaust or as digestive exhaust, I'll say. And if you're thinking about sustainability of an operation, looking at the big picture, the more of the carbon hydrogen you keep in the animal, the less methane being put out in the environment. The more nitrogen going into protein and the muscle of the animal, the less nitrogen being put put out into the environment. So not only is a manager who's using probiotics to improve the efficiency of his animals getting a benefit, but the environment gets a benefit when you make a choice for an effective probiotic. Well, I know Christian Hansen, you guys are on the front lines of this with a lot of great research uh, behind it, Dr. Lerner, and really have been doing it for quite some time, uh, looking at uh, probiotics and the various products that you guys have to really help our, uh, our producers in animal agriculture. We are the biggest believers in this idea of strain matters. And what I mean by that, Jesse, is if you talk about you and I, we are both on a genus and species level homo sapiens, but clearly we have unique gifts that make us different. When you look at probiotics and you read their labels, the government requires all manufacturers to include the genus and species of those organisms. But in fact, very much like Homo sapien doesn't define the gifts that we have, genus and species of bacteria don't do nearly an adequate job of defining the gifts that those individual organisms contain. You have to go down to the strain level. If we could clone you, Jesse, you'd have a Jesse Allen strain of organism. Uh, But for bacteria, clonal copies are how they divide 
And when you talk about a strain, it is the individual and all of their trillions of copies. And what I love most about Christian Hansen is the money and time that we invest to find the most efficacious strains to address the needs of modern producers, whether it is in producing enzymes to get better digestion or working with the host to improve the quality of the digestive tract or in direct inhibition of potentially harmful pathogenic organisms. So it is the desire to find the best strains that I love most about working for Christian Hansen. Very true. Well, Dr. Lerner, it's a, it's a great topic to think about just considering where everything stands in agriculture and our producers looking at uh, finding their best ROI. Any other final thoughts you want to share with us uh, talking about getting the most out of our feedstuffs here as we uh, get uh, get close to wrapping things up today? The, the best rule to follow, Jesse, is to do everything you can to keep the greatest percentage of animals in your care healthy and normal. And effective probiotics are one tool at your disposal to do just that. Well, Dr. Lerner, I know as well, if producers want to learn more about some of the different uh, products that Christian Hansen has, I'm sure they could contact their uh, local representative or go online, can't they? That is exactly correct at www.chr-hansen, H-A-N-S-E-N.com, and we're happy to address your needs. Well, we appreciate the time, as always, with that Senior Scientific and Business Advisor with Christian Hansen, Dr. Steve Lerner. Great to catch up with you, sir, and uh, hopefully we'll get to talk to you again real soon. Thanks so much for the time. Yes, thank you for the opportunity, Jesse.